Hi guys, day 24 of Vlogtober. I seriously cannot believe that we have made it to day 24. We're almost at the end. Almost. <laughs> Let's just get to the story. <laughs> the sound of footsteps thudding on the dirt, crunching the fallen leaves occasionally echoed through the forest. The moon shone brightly in the clear night sky. 16-year-old Zoe came running out of the forest and collapsed in the open field, gasping for air. She looked up to see her friends, Sean and Julia, standing above her, chuckling. One minute, Sean said, looking at his phone. Damn, Zoe. I never thought you would be so scared of the forest. Someone's in there, Zoe said. They were chasing me. I heard them running. Julia helped Zoe to her feet just in time to see a wild red fox running out of the forest. Well, I think we found your someone, Julia said with a chuckle. No, I know I heard footsteps. Human ones, Zoe said. So come on, it's Halloween night. Everyone is either trick-or-treating, giving out candy, or at the Halloween party at the community center. We're the only ones here. You're probably right, Zoe said. I think the night is just getting to me. Halloween does tend to put people on edge, Julia said. All right, my turn, Sean said. Set the timer. Julia set the timer on her phone as Sean ran into the forest. Zoe and Julia were sitting in the field. How long has it been? Zoe asked. Julia looked at her phone. An hour and a half, Julia said. Let's go get him out of there. He won just like he wanted. <sighs> Zoe and Julia headed in, into the forest. As they stood outside the entrance, they felt a cold chill. I can't do it, Julia. I can't, Zoe said. I'm kind of terrified myself, Julia said. John, Zoe shouted. You can come out now. You've won. The silence was deafening. Sean, this isn't funny anymore, Julia shouted. Once again, the silence filled the air. I know we don't want to, but we have to go in there, Julia said. Something is definitely wrong. Julia and Zoe held each other's hands and walked into the forest. The tall, thick trees made the forest dark, and the light that shone through the through from the moon was soon gone when the clouds rolled in, covering the moon entirely. Zoe turned her phone's flashlight on. They continued deeper into the forest. Zoe shone her flashlight around, and she and Julia continued to call out for Sean. The sound of crows cawing caused the girls to jump. Sean, this isn't funny anymore! Zoe shouted, her voice trembling with fear. Something's definitely not right, Julia said. Maybe we should just leave and call the police. Boo! Sean shouted, jumping out from behind the large oak tree. That's not funny, Zoe said, slapping his arm. We were worried sick about you. Oh, you should have seen your faces, Sean said, laughing. Zoe and Julia looked at each other and then headed back out of the forest. Oh, come on, Sean said, running after them. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. Guys, come on, Sean said, stopping in front of them. Please say you forgive me. Yeah, fine, Zoe said, but don't you ever do that again. That I can't promise, Sean said, but I will promise that I am done with the tricks for tonight. Zoe shook her head and chuckled. She did love the prankster side of Sean, but she didn't love it on Halloween when she was already on edge. They continued toward the entrance of the forest when they heard a tree branch snap. What was that? Julia asked nervously. I don't know. Let's get out of here. Sean stood there frozen, and Zoe and Julia followed his gaze. There was a man dressed in a black coat and black pants just standing there. Go, Sean whispered. The three of them ran through the forest as the man chased them. They started screaming as they approached the entrance. Once they were out of the forest, they glanced back to see the man standing in the entrance. But it didn't stop them from running. Not that I'm complaining, but why isn't he following us? Zoe asked. I'm not sure he can, Sean said, stopping. 
Why are you stopping? Julia asked. He can't follow us. He's confined to the forest, Sean said. Julia and Zoe stopped running and walked over to Sean, who was staring at the man. In the blink of an eye, the man turned into a bat and flew into the trees. He was a vampire? Julia asked. Sure looks that way, Zoe said. I think I've had enough excitement for one night. I'm ready to go home. <laughs> Me too, Julia said. You coming, Sean? Yeah, I'll catch up with you in a bit, Sean said. I have to check something. I think I dropped something. Zoe and Julia looked at each other and then headed home while Sean turned to look at the forest, his eyes glowing red. A smile grew across his face, showing the fangs that had replaced his human teeth. He brushed his hand over the fresh bite marks on his neck. The end. Yeah, so I wanted to do a vampire type story and I figured, you know what? teens being mischievous and pranksters and a dark forest and all the pieces are there and I thought about just sort of leaving it that you know there was the vampire in there but then I was like nah we're gonna make Sean a vampire he was in that forest way too long there's no way he didn't come in contact with vampire and there's no way the vampire wouldn't have bitten him and turned him into a vampire as well so Sean's now a vampire <laughs> oh guys i don't know let me know what you thought of the story and come back tomorrow for day 25 of vlogtober bye guys <laughs>